Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel for those of you returning and welcome to anyone new. I made this video specifically to help everyone range targets um, on the high trafficked areas on reserve as referenced from the dome. If you guys get anything out of this, please like and subscribe below. It'll help me gauge which videos you guys find valuable and which ones you don't. It also helps push this out to others in the land of YouTube. Now I prefer to zero my scope when taking shots. It forces me to slow down, think about the shot, and then take the actual shot when the timing is right. It also takes a few variables out. When you can hold right on and not think about distance and how high you have to hold, it is going to increase your success rate on longer shots, especially when you're trying to shoot at somebody moving or in and out of cover. I wanna give a shout out to One Peg. His video, Little Things in Tarkov 12, the easiest way to know distance, link in the uh, description below, gave me the ability to execute this idea. I ran around and took a bunch of screenshots at several locations the ones that made sense to me anyways, to get the coordinates there. I then created an average coordinate at the dome between the top, middle, and lower areas, and I threw this all into a spreadsheet to let it calc out the distance, then spot check them in offline mode. If you're interested in the sheet, let me know in the comments, and I'll clean it up and get it out into Google Docs. So without eating up any more time, let's get rolling. All right, so I'm in offline mode here so I can get these callouts and not get domed myself. I won't get into any of the finer details of this, like bullet velocities and drop. I just want to get the zeroing distance in for you guys, and then you can practice with the guns yourself as to where actually you need to aim. So first up here is Black Pawn. This closest set of stairs is 180 meters, right as if you're standing inside the door. The stairs on the furthest side here on the right is 198 meters. Moving back up to White Pawn, the closest door is 115 meters, right to this corner. And the furthest one's 134 meters, but that's right at this corner here. If you're over on the other side or something, you're going to be a little bit different. Excuse the transition here. The weather in Tarkov wasn't cooperating, so I had to clip in a new uh, video so you guys could actually see through the rain. The range to the door right here is 225 meters, so anybody in that vicinity, you can count on that range. And then sliding over here to the left door, this is 210 to here and the two drop-down windows. Next up is White Queen. The garage door up front here is 140 meters where all the hatchlings hop in. Then up on top, these little guys here are 148 meters. And then over to the right, the door at these stairs right here is 152 meters. Now at this back corner where these fire stairs are at that aren't rendering, you're 172 meters. So we'll just say the corner of the building here instead of the fire stairs. Hopping back here just a little bit to the uh, center of White Bishop. The whole roof here along the center is basically 205 meters, and that's really the only place you're going to see guys up here, besides maybe in the windows if you're lucky. Now one other kind of missed point of reference is this little manhole right here at this T-intersection. This is right at 125 meters. We'll slide to the left here to this little covered garage checkpoint. It's 160 meters, and the manhole is 107. Sliding back up to Black Knight, the garage right here is 157 meters. And then as we go up to the roof and back by this little tent, you're 185 meters. Hopping over to White Knight now, on the uh, second roof, the lower roof if you will, on that tent, this here is 262 meters. And then up on the upper roof that you got to go up the stairs to get to underneath this tent, you're 212 meters. Moving down to the garage area, at the door where the locked room is at, you have 158 meters right to this door where everybody comes in and out of. And then this hole in the fence over here is right at 162 meters. So out in the bunker field area over here, the corner of this actual bunker is at 210 meters. This is the far side corner where the concrete is. This little AA tank back here is 240 meters. And then these crates over to the right that are behind the bushes where you see a lot of scavs is 258 meters. Moving back over to the tower, here in the far left corner, we're 314 meters to the front face of the tower. Now we're going to move over to White Castle, or the train depot as most people call it. The mounted gun here is at 332 meters. And then over to the right, where this dead scav is next to this little light, he's not rendering right now, but that's 353 meters. And then occasionally, you can see people through these trees right here. And this is the ramp to load onto the armored train on this side. That's right at 334 meters. And then finally, the uh, train yard brick tower piece right here 
This thing's 280 meters on the nose right to that door. And moving into the one I was most interested in, the tower back here in the corner behind Mark Room is the furthest spot I found. It's 462 meters to the front corner. The building next to it, next to the Mark Room, is 430 meters. And then down to this corner right here on the edge of the bunker is 378 meters. Now moving up on top of the bunkers, over to the far corner where these sandbags are at, they're not rendering in right now, but the sandbags nonetheless are 357 meters. A little over to the right here on top of the next bunker is your bush, this guy right here, it's 332 meters. And honestly, it's kind of hard to hit guys here because there's a lot of stuff that doesn't render that'll just catch your shots. Moving back to the little tower in the back here, this one is right at 400 meters. A little farther to the right at this bigger tower here by the fence, you're right at 370 meters to the top front. And then moving down to the buildings in the middle, this corner is at 284 meters. And then this front right corner is 234. And then the middle here is at 251 meters. And the left corner is 262 meters. Now we'll slide back over here to the right, and you can't see it because it doesn't render, but this is the extract point um, for heating pipe, right at 350 meters. And then moving over to the right here with the tower that's between this and Scavlan's extract, you're at 340 meters. This tower right here. Shifting over to the right, the Scavlan's extract right at the corner of this tank is 330 meters. And then moving down here just a little bit closer at these furthest railroad tracks, they're at 270 meters. And then the closer tracks here at the front of the tank are 250 meters. And then finishing up in the back here, this little building by the train tracks is 333 meters. The fixed grenade launcher is right at 352 meters. The big guard tower behind it is 383 meters. And the tank here that's really super hard to see is right at 300 meters. So we timed this just right because it's starting to get dark. The last two points I have here is the tower by the scav hole in the fence. It's right at 275 meters. And then down here where the actual extract it is itself is 280 meters. And that's it. It took a bit to get through all these points, but I'm glad you guys stuck with me. I'm going to work on a ranging card using the 3D map off of the Tarkov Wiki. I'll get that published and get it out as soon as I can. So thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you find this useful. If you did, again, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a bunch. And until next time, we'll see you around.